Hello everyone, Sword Open here, back for another video. So, today, we're here on Rumble. I'm actually going to be, so this is going to be uploading both Rumble and YouTube. This is a quick little tutorial on how to monetize your channel. So, first things first, let's say you create a new channel. Alright, now, my channel has already been created, so this was, this is not going to be a tutorial on how to make your channel. <laughs> first thing you want to do is you're going to go down here to licenses. Wait. Okay. Scratch that. Just click on upload video. So you see this little button up here? This is the upload. This, when you click on this little camera button, it will pop down this little thing. So you see upload video or go live, which we will also cover how to go live in this video after we finish with upload. So what you need to do, first step, place a video into your, you want to select the video to upload. Now, right now, Rumble only has a maximum file size of 15 gigabytes. It means it can't be super long. I've, I've found that the best length of video to upload on Rumble is about three to four hours from what I've noticed. Then you put in video title, video description. And you put in your thumbnail. You can put in tags. When you are putting in your tags, let's say we were uploading a Minecraft video. You want to go Minecraft, comma, and then gaming or whatever other tags you would have in there. Basically, the comma separates your tags. Then, if let's say you have multiple channels, you can upload, you can select here to upload to one of those specific channels. No channel just means it uploads directly to your page, to your account page. Of course, you have your visibility, public, unlisted, private, and schedule. Then I am going to need to real quick put in like a temporary video. Let's do that. So you see it takes a few, it takes a few seconds to upload. Put in there. But while that's going, we can actually go to this point. Now, you see there are four... There are four licensing options on this. You can either go video management, exclusive, video management excluding YouTube, rumble only, or personal use. Personal use would make it where only those who are subscribed to your channel can see it. It is not monetized at all. No one can search for that video. That is personal use. It, it's basically it's a safe option. You have everything in it. Rumble only. You will only receive earnings. Now we're going to go into the monetized ones. Video man the two video management and Rumble. On Rumble only, you receive all net earnings collected in relation to publication of your content on the Rumble player. But there is an agency fee of 40%. So Rumble will get 40% of your profit, which is actually a good deal. You get the majority of the profit. Unlike YouTube, where, if I remember correctly, YouTube gets the majority of your profit. So Rumble is actually really more profitable in that case. Uh, if you select this option, you'll be entitled to remove content from the Rumble player at any time and maintain rights. All right? Video management, excluding YouTube, uh... With the exception of YouTube.com, which is specifically excluded, you are selecting Rumble to be your exclusive worldwide perpetual agent for such content. You will receive all net earnings less than agency fee equal to 40% collected in relation to your content. Basic, what this is basically saying is that all Rumble will basically... Be the exclusive agent for your content. They will be able to put your content out to any other website. You won't have a say in what website gets put on, but they will be able to put it out on any website. You are giving them that right. And in turn, you get the majority of, you will get the profit for it. You will get profit for that. The only website where it's not going to be monetized on is YouTube. 
unless you choose this one, video management. Your, and this one is basically the same thing as this, as excluding YouTube. Video management just does not exclude YouTube. So technically, what you can do with video management, when you, so you'll notice when you click on this, there's not really much else. You, you have this optional, you can also have it auto syndicate to different chat. Like you would automatically have it upload to YouTube. Rumble only is the same. Video management is the same. This video exclusive video management is the only one that has a different thing. It is please provide your YouTube video URL if it exists. You can only do this when you are uploading a video. You cannot do this after you upload video. So what most people do, they'll upload to YouTube first and then they upload to Rumble. So with this, basically Rumble will monetize your YouTube video for you. Even if your channel's not, not eligible to be monetized on YouTube, Rumble will still monetize it. So, once you upload your YouTube video, like let's, let's take my why you should switch to Rumble video that I just uploaded a little bit ago while recording this. This, so let's say I want to have this be the video that's being uploaded. I would link, I will copy the video link and paste it in right there. What Rumble will do, and then you select your terms and conditions, you have not signed an exclusive agreement with any other parties, click here if you agree to our terms of service. I would recommend go read through their terms of service. It is really smart to read through the terms of service. Now I'm not, then after this you would hit submit. And what will happen is Rumble. So the YouTube video will upload first. The YouTube video will be out all processed and everything before the Rumble video will be out. Because it does take a while to upload to Rumble. Okay? Rumble is a little bit slower to upload to, but it's still overall better. Uh, one, but what will happen here is then it will search, it will go go to that link that you put in here and it will make sure that the videos are the same if the video file is the exact the file name of the video is the same then rumble will upload will monetize your youtube video this is to give protection to youtubers so you can't just go ahead and just monetize someone else's stuff and steal their money because that would be wrong and rumble would not accept that so i am not going to be submitting this and that is how uploading works now let's move on to the second part which is my favorite part live streaming this is what we've been doing so higher quality streaming you can do this this is an option now New option, which is good. Uh, place order video. This is a video that plays on loop. Now, what I use, which I'm not going to pull up my streaming software right now, I use the starting stream GIF that I have. You'll basically put in a maximum duration of 120 second thing to put in this placeholder video. This will play on you on loop when your stream is not yet available. Or has ended this way so let's say your streaming software disconnects like the power goes out in your house and everything for, for a few seconds or so until an hour has passed your video will be put on your your live stream will be going this loop will be playing for about an hour and then the live stream will cut off once that happens but before that hour, you can reconnect your streaming software and instantly start streaming again. That gives you a lot more security in case a power outage or something. It won't upload as separate streams. It will all be one stream because you're using the stream, same stream link. So, and we are going to go through this whole thing. Actually, might as well. So here's my streaming software. We're loading it up real quick. You don't have to do this, this is what I do. 
So, let's take to my starting scene. And you want to go to... You want to pull it up so you're actually seeing it here. Right click on here. Properties. Then click Browse. As you can see, this folder will pop up. Now we want to have this folder here as we're looking at this. Go into your folder and then drag over the video. So as you can see, right now, this is at 100%. This now has the loop. So let's set the live stream title to, oh, let's put it at how to live stream. Then you put your live stream description, which is going to put a bunch of random letters in there for that. You want to set your category. So as you can see, here are all the categories. This is not, you don't have to do this, but it is highly recommending, recommended. You put gaming, and then this is a secondary category, if you do have a secondary category. So... tutorials. This is very important. I, this is some good stuff. Then you can select what you want here. Change your thumbnail if you want to, or it will just be the thumbnail, the starting image of your loop video. Set your tags. Set what your which channel you're streaming to. You can set to right now or later time. And with later time, you can set to any time point. Then you can select public, unlisted, or private. I am going to put this on private. Um, then you also set make the recording private after stream ends. So this is if, because it will automatically upload your stream, like on YouTube. Then you click on next. Then you have rumble only or personal use. We say I get to personal use so that no one will see this. <laughs> no one will see it anyway. But as you notice, there's not the exclusive stuff. Rumble only is because if this live stream is only on rumble. Uh, of course, select those, and then you can click Submit. Now, here's where we get into the semi-hard part. Now, you get these two buttons show up. So, first off, here's your direct link. Here's the embedded code, and then the monetized embedded code. Because here's the thing. These streams are monetized. I know, it's great. <laughs> um, the direct link will give you a, a direct link to send to your viewers to... For anyone who's not subscribed to your channel, it gives you a way to actually advertise your stream. So then you can either click on View Live Stream, which will take you to the page where the live stream is happening, or you can go to Get Streamer Setup. This is an important thing, okay? So, as you notice, we have the stream URL and the stream key. So here is for those who don't know. So now, we need to go to are I'm actually gonna do this. So here we go. This is our streaming software. In my case, Streamlabs. So you're gonna to want to go to stream. Make sure your stream type is set to custom streaming server. Then first thing is you're gonna paste in your stream URL. Then you will paste in your stream key. The reason why you do this is because your stream key and your stream URL always changes. It's never going to be the same. This is a matter, it's a security. Now, some of you might get annoyed, but it's just it's an extra step that you have to do. You can't just instantly set your stream type to rumble to a streaming service, have the streaming service be rumbled and instantly go live. You have to actually do the stream key. And then once you have that, that all in, you can click done and click on go live. This is a security thing. It's it makes your live stream more secure, so no one can just get access to your stream key or your normal stream key or normal stream URL like with YouTube, and Twitch. People can just if someone gets access to your stream key or your stream your and your stream URL on YouTube or Twitch, they can live stream to your channel no matter what with Rumble. They have to specifically be logged into your channel to live stream. 
because they have to actually set up the live stream fully. They can't just set it up through Streamlabs or OBS. This is a really good security feature. I highly recommend this for anyone. So that is how you set up a live stream and set up monetized videos. So I'm going to go ahead and hit. Now when you get this done, as you notice, it says begin streaming by March 27th, 1251. It's because I just didn't set it. Because I set that time. And you'd instantly go live. So let's say I went ahead and hit go live. Stream would start. Let's refresh the page. So see how it's waiting for stream right now because there's always going to be a delay. But, and as you notice, it is looping. To make sure you guys know this for sure, here's the stream thing. Now, this won't, this more than likely won't start because of the schedule. So let's say, let's go back to this page, edit. Set it back to now. Then you know it's at the uh, twelve o'clock. Well, let me change it. Kind of funny. Sometimes this is kind of, this is still like all, the live streaming system in this is in beta. So keep that in mind, this is all beta. Also, I think I just realized why that wasn't working. Shut the PM, 12, six. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Sword Off, signing out. Peace.